Hey guys and welcome back. I'm going to do a quick field review of this Lightspeed two-person, what I would call luxury airbed for camping. And we're going to kind of talk about why I think it's such a deluxe and comfortable airbed here in a moment. But we'll first start off by giving you a little bit of size reference. There's my Climate Static V, which is more of a backpacking mattress and uh, gives you a, a kind of a size reference for how big this two-person mattress is in comparison to something that's built for a single person and for backpacking. We'll get that out of the way. And then the bag here, this is the bag that it comes in. The color's a little off in this video. I apologize for that, guys. It looks kind of like a, a pea green, but it's more of a, a very natural olive color in reality. But uh, the bag right here is actually, gosh, at least double as big as it needs to be. Um, this thing folds down very flat once you deflate it, and uh, you've got a lot of extra space in that bag once you've got it in there. So I actually use that bag for also the motor, spare batteries, which I keep in that little compartment or that little uh, pill bottle right there. And I also throw in, what is it? That's right, this little wool blanket down here. I usually keep that in there as well so that I've got something as a backup. Did some research on it, found it to be a very attractive, very interesting mattress, and all the reviews said it was just crazy comfortable. And I can attest to that right now. This is, like I said before, kind of a luxury camping mattress. It's very, very comfortable um, for one person, for two people. Uh, my wife and I could fit on here. I've had myself and my daughter on here. I've had uh, both my sons slept on it last night, and they had plenty of space for, left over. Uh, at one point, one of them rolled off, and I got on there because I was, I was wanting that uh, that luxury comfort as well. So um, it is a very, very comfortable mattress. The loft on it has got to be eight inches or something like that, six or eight inches. It's it's a pretty high mattress. So you've got lots and lots of cushion between you and the ground. You're never going to feel the floor. No way. Uh, it's nice and durable too. I haven't seen a leak yet on what four camping trips with this. I think three to four camping trips with it. I haven't seen a leak yet. Uh, you can see the based on based on the way it looks here. You can get a feel for kind of how it's constructed and how there are these sort of pillars that are sort of seamed into there to sort of trap the airflow and and help it have a nice rigid um, construction, rigid build to it, which it does. It it feels like once you get on there, it doesn't shift around a lot you're yeah it's, it feels sturdy uh, it's made of tpu so there's not a lot of stretch to it which is a good thing uh, some of the stretch or some of the pops and some of the the holes that have come from older air mattresses that we have at our house often seem to be because of the material that it's made out of which is more of a rubbery material uh, so we gave up on that and the idea of using something that's a bit more rigid a bit, a bit less flexible sounds really good now the surface of it don't know if you'll be able to get a good look at that it's kind of dirty probably but it does have kind of a canvasy fabricy texture to it on the outside there and that's the top the bottom will be about the same uh, and that kind of helps you to not be sliding so much off of the bed uh, when you're sleeping on it you know you're inside of your sleeping bag or whatever and these two sort of fabric materials are sort of you know pushing and locking into each other and that does kind of help you stay put on the air mattress and that's a good thing uh, there's a few warnings and uh, you know, information there you can see that on this corner as well as that corner up there we have these sort of drag handles or you know grab handles I guess we'd call them uh, just a way to move your mattress about without having to kind of pinch it and grab it so I think that's a cool little addition right there but the bed itself, I mean, I would take this on any car camping trip. We've taken it on several at this point, and I feel like this is, it's, it's durable. It's really, really comfortable, and I like it for the price. And if I didn't mention it already, uh, links to buy it are down in the description if you're interested in that. Getting to the motor real quick, this came with it. It takes four D-cell batteries. As I said before, spare batteries right there. Nice to have those on hand in case you unexpectedly run out of juice so far I've only used one set of batteries for how many inflations has it been it feels like it's been four four inflations and deflations I'll usually turn this on reverse and uh, 
you know, attach the stuff right here and then switch it on and then pull the air out of it. And I'll do that for a little bit. Here's the sound of it. Not super noisy, but that's the motor and you can see how it comes apart, how it opens up. Uh, very simple, compact, and uh, it works. It hasn't died on me yet. So that, that is basically it. That's the light speed, two-person TPU airbed, kind of a luxury air mattress for camping. I didn't cover this end right here, actually. This is the, you know, where you'd actually go to deflate it or inflate it. And let's look at that. We open up this black area right there. You have kind of a, whoops, that's the full one. <laughs> so you've actually got two valves on there. The white one is the full um, valve, not a valve at all, but just a hole that opens it up completely and then the air can just kind of be completely pushed out. But this black one right here, if I can get that undone, it's more of a one-way valve. So you can blow the air into that, if you look at that down inside, it basically gives a little, little plunger that allows me to get my air down into there and fill that up um, without, you know, without letting the air come rushing back out uh, as I pull that, um, that motor away from there. Well, that's more or less it. We could probably go into more detail, but the long and short of it is this is an incredibly comfortable air mattress. Not something you would ever want to take backpacking, but great for your car camping trips, family camping trips, and things like that. And uh, it's been a winner for us in that role so far. I'm a late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya. Have not tested that out. Haven't tried patching it. Fortunately, haven't needed to patch it yet. We'll see uh, how that goes when I get around to having to patch it, which we almost always have to do with inflatable air mattresses. But it says it inflates with 10 to 15 breaths. I've got kind of a lot of hot air coming out of me, so it's around 8.